be strong Positive mindset, a world-class foundation for you and me Getting to know young youths and athletes and talented coaches and so much more Champions in the making, no pain, no gain Bringing you levels, bringing you levels to the table Warriors, teaching warriors Everybody welcome to the Dalton Grand Show Welcome to another episode of the Dalton Academy Talk Show I am Dalton Grant and I'm thrilled today. We've had this young lady on the show before, along with Samuel Adjiman, and her name is Leila, Leila Harbert. She'd been doing very well in training. She'd been doing very well playing for her team. She will tell you who her team is. And if anyone remembers the last episode of Leila Harbert and Samuel Adjiman, you remember this young lady. She did some great tricks for us. So I've been busy going around the country doing event liftoff, um, the Dalton Grant Academy. It's all about athleticism in the park and it's using those basic drills, basic foundation to develop and upskill the community. So look out close to you. With no further ado, I'd like to introduce this young lady, Leila Harbert. Welcome to the show. Thank you. You're welcome. So, Leila, what have you been up to? So, I've been with the Dalton Grant Academy for almost two years now. Is it two um, years? I was speaking to your mum. I, I do believe it could be nearly three years. Do you think? Yeah, I think it could be nearly three years because your mum your mom was working it out. It's nearly yeah. coming up to three years. Yeah. Yeah. And I played for Arsenal under 16s and recently I've been called up to train with England. Wow, recently you've been trained up for called up for England. What can we say? Are you excited? Yeah, I can't wait. Right. So the last time we were talking to you, I remember you was on the verge of moving up to play um two years above your age group with Arsenal. So uh, did you did it eventually happen? Did you move up two years? Yeah, so a few months after our last talk show, I was 14 and now I'm playing with the under 16, so that's two years above my age group. Well done. So what, what has that been like? It's been a the challenge. the youngest team member. It's been a challenge, but as I train with Dalton, you know that you need to meet the expectations of yourself under pressure, which obviously with your training helps as well, because I was going into it knowing what I had to face and with training harder and stuff, it helps you ease into like the big environment and the pressure of the situation. I'm glad that I can help you to give my experience, you know, to handle pressure, because um, pressure is very scary, um, but the key about it is how you handle it, as one handle it, and you have really been handling pressure very well, been having fun, because elitism, you know, is if you want to achieve high accolades in sport, you have to go through experiences that take yourself out of your own comfort zone. So when you get in that environment, you can perform. So have you been still training with the boys? Because I did remember you was training with the boys. In our yeah, class. so one session a week, I train with the boys and another I train with the under 16s. Wow. So when would you be going into England then? Next Saturday, I'm training for the first time. So that's great. I mean, it's great yeah. that you're going to go and, and you're going to be training with Arsenal. So has that been always your dream then, to play for your country? I mean, sorry, not Arsenal, tra playing for England. Yeah, it's always been one of my top ambitions in my career. Wow. So it's going to be interesting. Do you feel like there's pressure on you? Because obviously you're playing your, age, your own age group, but for your club, you're playing two years above. So what's that going to be like when you go, you know, into the England setup? And do you feel that's an advantage that you're playing two years up? They can go in there and you're going into um, the England setup with confidence? Yeah, definitely. I think I'll have a huge advantage, whereas some of the other girls may not have. As I've been playing up, they'll give me the extra boost I need to go into England. 
because obviously training at your own age in a, an elite club like Arsenal is hard enough. So I think England will be just that big step. Wow. So you've trained so much because I remember, you know, when we were going through um, the challenges of um, the pandemic and, you know, not be able to train, you know, and being trained by Zoom. So how did you handle that? Because obviously, what was it like? You know, because it was a different circumstance and probably dying to get back at the train and be around the team members and even the support where you couldn't even get your parents to watch you. So how have you handled that situation? Yeah, it's been quite tough, but obviously I've had to push through as is everybody. But I feel with the champion mindset and the perseverance with everything that's been happening, like going in and out of lockdown, I feel like if you just maintain your like levels of training throughout, then you're never going to fall behind. Right. So maintaining your level of training, that's really good. And having the right mindset. Right, so you know you've got advantage, yeah? There's advantage that Leila's got. That's brilliant. So um, do you know um, when your first match will be or is it how long you're going to be training for? Or Yeah, I think we go back on the 7th of August for a few trainings and then we go on a camp with Arsenal. So that consists of three days of matches so against other elite women's sides. So I think we're playing against Aston Villa, Liverpool... Man United all across two days and then on a third day there's a final so it's going to be like a tournament but it's across three days so we'll be staying in a hotel with the team so that will be a great bonding session after a long year of corona. What has, what has your team been like now that they know you're going for your England call up? Is your team been very supportive? Yeah they've all wished me good luck and they can't wait to see me. Wow, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. So what is the, the, the programme with England then? Is it just training um, to get used to the, the team? And then would you be playing in a tournament soon? Do you know? Or you're going to find out when you get there? Um, I think I've got the email. So it's a five hour training. So it's all combined. So running, football, um, like a workshop so and then after this one I think we're having a few more trainings just to get used to it and then I think when you're 15 or 16 you can play in tournaments and international games. Wow so, so is your dream to win the World Cup with England? Yeah or the Euros. Or the Euros? Yeah. Well, what's, what's bigger for you the Euros or the World Cup? I think the World Cup, but I wouldn't mind both. You wouldn't? Well, then you can go for both, yeah. Yeah. So what, what, what do you think you need to do to achieve that? Um, I think I need to obviously listen to advice along the way and train as hard as I can because you can't go off task and you need to go out of your comfort zone to obviously up your levels, train hard, but in that training you need to progress each week so say you did two reps you do three next time until you obviously reach the strongest point you are and the best version of yourself brilliant so you're saying this saturday you'll be going to um your england club then this saturday yeah, yeah. So i think this saturday is going to be july the 24th okay yeah right yeah, so july the 24th that'll be brilliant so that's a day to remember the day <laughs> when it took off yeah. Oh, so it's good. It, yeah. So how have you been um, with your friends? What is it like in your everyday life? Just normal Layla? What have you been doing? Reading more books? Are you listening to music? Have you been, you know, having that quality time with your friends or have you? Yeah, you obviously I, um, I juggle my football life with my social life as well. So I have been going out with my friends as it's the school holidays now, but I do train as well. So say one day I might go out with my friends the next train. So I won't break my training pattern to go out with my friends because... Wow. Yeah. You won't break your training pattern for your friends, no? No. Wow. Well, that, that's the right mindset where you need to require to be successful. Um, so I applaud you for that. So is it frustrating? Is it hard to handle that or not? Not really, because there's ways around it. And 
as of lockdown, I've always found it quite easy to challenge it around. So if I was training one day, I'd always organise to go another day, whereas I like know my priorities. That's brilliant. You're a young person with an adult mindset. That's what we like. <laughs> we love that. So, yeah. So how's your mom and dad co coping? Are they excited? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they're really your strange. uncles, your grandparents, what are they? Are they? <laughs> yeah, I've got a few calls from my grandparents and my other family members to congratulate me and they can't wait to see me play soon. Oh, that's brilliant. So let's hope that, you know, things will go back to normality, whatever normality is. You stay healthy and focused and, you know, you score a hat-trick on your debut. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> that would be brilliant. Yeah. yeah. So what are you going to do? Are you going to train later or? Um, I think I might train tomorrow and with you on Thursday, maybe for just before I go to England. Oh, that'd be brilliant. We're looking forward to seeing you in the next training session, you know, before yeah. you're going. So um, is there anything that you would give back to the youth about your age that you can say that can help them to achieve and to focus like yourself, I know it's going to be hard, but what would you say is that nugget, that key, Layla's nugget? No one else, you got to have your own print on this. Mm, maybe to listen and believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Yeah. That's brilliant. Listen and believe in yourself. So who should they listen to? Coach. Whoa, no, that's good. Wow, that's good because a coach can help you to develop that and also listen to your parents because, you know, your parents is, you know, very important. And I believe that it's that, that family, that bonding. That they say the village mentality, you know, to raise a child. So, yeah. you know, with the right coach, people around yeah. you, coach, you know, yeah. parents, I was gonna say the grandparents, sort of family. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you can't beat that. You know, and, you know, everybody will be proud of you because we're all putting in that extra bit of work for you to achieve because we can't do it. So we know you can do it. So we're we're, we're hanging on to your show, your, your, your cocktail following yeah. Leila, you know, on that journey. So anyway, I'd like to say it was a pleasure. I'm not going to pressure you to do any tricks today, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but it was prepared. a pleasure. Huh? I was thinking of that one. I was preparing if I was going to be asked. <laughs> Oh, you're preparing? What have you got a board? Have you got a board? No, but I did outside, but it's raining now, so So we don't need to do it? No. So thank you. Yeah. And I'd like to say good luck. I know you've got all the luck already from family, friends, and everyone. And do yourself proud and do everyone else pr proud, especially your family. But anyway, you. uh, looking forward to see you at your next training session. Take care. And thank have a you. Night. See Ciao. you soon. Bye. Dorton Grant Academy, work ethic, mentally strong, positive mindset, world-class foundation, elite athletes, youth, never give up, a talented coach, meeting talented athletes equals success, championing the making, no pain, no gain, bringing new levels to the table, learning about the standard as words versus physicality, warriors teaching warriors.